Thank you for watching uh, this quick tutorial video. In this video, uh, we're going to talk about how to import credit card transactions from Excel uh, CSV file into QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. Before we do that, uh, we get this call a lot. Uh, the question is how to sign up QuickBooks Online. So how to sign up QuickBooks Online. Uh, well, you can go to QuickBooksOnline.com and and start from there or you can start from our, uh, our website our website is newqbo.com so this is our home page so all you have to do is sign up QuickBooks right here next to home sign up QuickBooks click that one and then we have a affiliate link uh, with QuickBooks online so all you have to do is click this link here or you can read all those they have different plans three plans you can select plan and all that stuff so just click this one or, or, or the bottom one and it will take you to QuickBooks Online website. This is where you s sign up for a new uh, account. And the one thing you want to pay attention to that is they have a uh, uh, sale uh, every other week or so. Uh, so you want to pay attention to this banner here. It will say save up to 50% off QuickBooks. Suffering save now sale ends Friday something like this banner so if you don't see that this banner that means they don't have anything on sale that week so if you're not in a hurry you may want to wait a week or two they will uh, uh, they will offer you some uh, uh, some sale and then you can save some money uh, for about six months basically so let's click this one As you can see here, they have uh, this week, uh, Salience Friday, so this uh, this week. Uh, for Central, they're offering at $13.99 per month for six months, and QuickBooks Online $17.99 uh, for six months. So so there's a big difference there. So $13.99 normally is $19.99, uh, uh, and the plus plan it's $29.99 so it's a big saving in here for six months so that's how you have to do it so all you have to do as I said come here to our newqbo.com and click sign up QuickBooks and the link is right here you can read all this the whole page in here uh, about their plans and it will take you to uh, their website where you can sign up all right okay so that will that will do it so let's do let's talk about the real stuff here uh, so right now I'm on uh, uh, QuickBooks online I'm using plus here but it will work the same if you only have essentials or even simple start to import CSV file for the credit card company uh, transactions okay so first thing you want to do is you got to have your Excel uh, uh, file so I'm gonna do four columns in here the first one is date and the second one is pay or description and column number three is payment and column number four is charge so how did I get this payment chart basically I just got that from uh, from uh, QuickBooks Online here. If you go to uh, register for the credit card, that's what you'll see. Let's say in here, credit card type. This is chart of accounts. And chart of accounts, you see register. So it's basically from transaction, chart of account, register. So this is where it will post all your credit card transactions. But in this case, we're going to uh, file upload from your uh, bank feed. So let's just. Uh, stay with me so register here okay so register here is this one as you can see here charge and payment so they have charge first and then the second is payment uh, the reason is uh, the charge it's, it's, it's the credit card is a liability account so whenever they have charged, you'll be adding to uh, your liability 
and we're making payment, you're reducing your liability. So in this case, I'm uh, just doing the opposite side, payment first and the second charge. Well, the reason I'm doing this is uh, uh, we get all kinds of call, uh, our QBA users, uh, they import this CSP file uh, uh, from credit card company and every transaction end up being the opposite of what it should be. Expenses listed as credit, credit listed as expenses. Uh, it's a big problem. Uh, so you'll find out uh, where the problem is coming from. Uh, so I encourage you to watch this uh, entire video. Uh, you don't want to miss a step. So I encourage you to watch this entire video. You don't want to miss any steps here. Okay. So the payment is number uh, item uh, the column number three in charge. So the goal is to import uh, this to your bank feed. So the bank feed. I'm on home page here. So the bank is right here the banking so this is your banking feed bank feed and you want to import in here so the first one you, you want to import expenses in here and the payment in here is spent so this is the credit card account spent here received so the spent is expenses received payment so uh, so that's what it is so we want to make sure the charge is spent and payment goes to receive call So date is first column. Let me make this column one. So this is column one and this is column two. And column three is payment. This is column three. And charge spent is column four. All right, so let's save this file. So in order to save it, you have to save it as a CSV file. So by the way, I'm not using Excel, but it's similar to Excel here, Open Office I'm using. This is the, uh, the free one. Uh, so file and save as CSV in here as you can see here the text CSV so this is this is the one you want to save it this is how you have to save it it will say dot CSV text CSV so that's the one that's the one you want to, you want to save it okay so this is the January visa statement all right it will say January visa statement that's the name of the file so when you save it, you just name whatever you want, January Visa Statement, I have it like that. Okay, so now we have the file ready and we're ready to, ready to import it to Excel. Okay, so I have all these accounts, but in this case, uh, uh, let's say I just want to add account. I want to do a new account here. Uh, that, that way you will see everything in here. I have already imported a few in here. So this is add account. So this is the this is where you go to the uh, sync your account. That's not what we want to do. So we want to add a uh, new account to chart of accounts. So it's a credit type. I just want to add a new one. Uh, if you have if you already have account, that's fine. In your chart of accounts, you just select that account. So in this case, I just want to create a new account for credit card. So this is the one credit card type. This is the chart of accounts credit card type right here category type is credit card and let's say this one is uh, uh, if it's a uh, Bank of America you name it Bank of America if it's Chase you, you say Chase credit card visa or something like that so in this case let's just say test I just want to test this account so how it will come out 
and name normally is same as your description. So this is where I'm going to import a CSV file. Okay. So let's go to banking in here. So in order to import CSV file, all we do is click this here. Next to add account is a file upload. Let's click that one. Okay. And so now all you have to do is uh, upload the file from your computer. Let's select a file here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do a January visa statement right here. January visa statement. All right. And click next. Okay. So this is where you need to select your credit card account from your chart of accounts. If you select this, you will see all your chart of accounts and you need to select a proper account here. So in this case, we're going to use credit card test, credit card test, credit card type. Make sure it's credit card type not bank account we're going to do credit card type credit card type right here next okay so now you have four fields in here right now it's three but for the statement i want to show two accounts two columns right here okay date format is fine so as you can see here number one number two pay description so this is pay description and in this case we have to select number three that's the uh, payment received payment received and number four column is charge and spend okay so this is where the confusion comes in it says credit and debit here so somehow this field is same as the uh, as the, the way you want you import your bank account bank account and in this case we are we are we importing credit card account but the format is still the same so it should have been uh, the quite opposite when you do the uh, uh, the credit card import and then the bank bank account. So in this case, make sure the credit it it refers to payment received, debit refers to charge, debit refers to charge, credit refers to payment received, not the other way around. So the payment received is right here. Payment received, debit is right here. All right. So click next one ne next one yes it's also two columns here so next one okay now it's showing all the list from your import so in this case i have only a few like 10 or 12 even if you have a hundred or thousand it works the same way okay here's the payment here at the bottom is positive in here and the amount is all negatives uh those are all the charges so the next next one so now it's saying well you have 11 transactions do you want to import it yes Okay, as you can see here, yeah, bank file successfully uploaded QuickBook, 11 transactions were imported successfully and finished it. So let's see what happened right here. As you can see here, it imported the right way. The spent, your, your charges, received, it's a payment, $800, right? You paid, uh, you made $800 payment and you used credit card to buy all these charges. So it worked pretty good. So all, at this point, all you have to do is uh, uh, add to the proper account and then categorize. Uh, you have all the uh, description. It's by, uh, in this case, it's the, uh, the vendor's name, pay's name. And when, when you import it from directly from your credit card statement, you may have more than uh, uh, just the vendor or pay. So you may have some uh, description as well. So that's fine. That helps. So at this point, all you have to do is make sure the categories are correct. In this case, right here, it says uh, uncategorized expense. So you want to make sure it goes to the right account. So if you know how to do it, so all you have to do is right here, and you select a pay. In this case, it's from Auto Finance. So hopefully you have the pay account here. So here, I have one already set up in here, ABC Auto Finance and let's say categorize expense let's say i'm paying for this uh automobile expense hopefully i have one account in here uh, if not you have to set up one it could be your loan payment if that's the case they're uh, reducing your credit or your liability uh, so i just want i just pick one account here uh let's see uh i just want to pick one expense account here
All right, I was, I was going to pick this one right here. And in this case, uh, I'm using uh, uh, plus. So plus, you can have a, a class as well as location. Let's say this is your overhead and uh, location. Let's say this is for uh, San Diego. All right, all I have to do is add. Okay, it's gone now. So it basically moved from uh, new transactions to QuickBooks. So that's how you have to categorize everything. And in this case, let's say the payment one right here. So the payment one, so you have to select uh, your credit card company name here as a vendor. Uh, right here, let's say this is, we assume that this is uh, the Chase credit card. So that's your pay. And uh, the credit card account is the new, new one we just created. The test account right here so this is your liability account so when you make payment you basically you want to reduce your credit card liability account and class whatever you want to select and location let's say this is also San Diego and add so that's how you have to do it categorize all expenses if downloaded to proper account and then then basically just add it and uh, so that's how it works. I have some uh, uh, rules established here. So if you want it, if you can you can create rules as well. So in order to create rules, you just go here and manage rules. So that way you can uh, do the uh, batch uh, download in here, except selected. So if you have a rule, let's say uh, Home Depot, you want to you want to you, want, you have already done it. In the past, you want to send this to purchases, and if you have more than one, you can select uh, the batch here, accept selected, and uh, here it's gone. So that's how you have to do it. Uh, so thanks for watching this video. I hope uh, uh, you learned how to uh, import credit card transaction from Excel CSV file into QuickBooks Online. So thank you for watching and. Uh, uh, please uh, come back again and visit our website and uh, we have all kinds of uh, uh, new information uh, updated on a regular basis so the site is newqbo.com so thank you for watching again please come back again thank you bye